Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Today I'm going to start off on a review of the GSI 10 inch hard anodized Dutch oven. So I was looking at these and I've had cast iron Dutch ovens and ultimately they're the ultimate camp cooking tool but they don't travel well in four wheel drives where they get knocked around and they always end up cracking. And if you're not really good with them and keeping them oiled and all the rest of it, they go rusty, blah blah blah. So I saw this hard anodized one and I thought, Ooh, I'll give that a crack. So I'll run you through some specs first. I measured the volume by filling it up to the brim and it holds 3000 millilitres, almost brimful. And it's a double handle, so it allows you to carry and tip and pour, which a lot of the ones with the single handles you can't do. Now the base itself weighs 1062 grams on my scales. The um, and the lid weighs 644 for a total of 1706 grams. Now on the box, as a different figure than that, on the box it says 1673 grams, so heavier than what it says on the box. So the dimensions on the card, I'll, I'll put a, uh, a picture of them up. It says 10 inches, so figure across it, and yeah, sort of, yeah, bang on 10 inches, sort of, yeah, about 10. And it has 11.2 by 10.7. So, 11.2 is the width measured across these lugs. And it's got a 3.6 inches with the lid on. So I measured the depth well at um, 74 millimeters, just under the three, like three, two and three quarter inches, I think. Not that great in inches anymore. So the 3.6 measurement had me, had me stumped there for a while. Now when it came packed, it was packed with the lid on upside down. So if I put the lid on upside down and measure that, there I am at 3.6 inches. So now I understand how it's measured. So in millimetres, 284 by 272 by 91. So three sizes of these, this is the 10 inch, there's a 12 inch and a 14. Now both the 12 and the 14 have feet on them, on the base. But I'll be mainly using this on a gas stove. So for me, a flat base is better. So it's made in Taiwan. It looks really solid. Now the the handle on the lid seems to be aluminium. The two side handles are a chrome plated steel. I've already managed to burn the um, the chrome plating off here. But I'm going to use this to replace a small barbecue plate, a fry pan. So as well as being a, a little oven, it'll be a really multifunctional piece of kit. So I've never had hard anodized aluminium pots before, so it'll be a learning experience for myself. So I'm gonna run it through, test it as a fry pan, test it as a barbecue plate, test it as an oven. I'll show you guys how to uh, do a little bit of field baking using one of these and a gas stove and some heat beads. And that's what's coming up guys, so if you're interested, Hang in there. Okay guys, I'll give it a go with a, a fried egg. I've heated it up, I'll give it a bit of oil. Got a bit to get and easy. Yeah. Nice and clean. So I'd say that's a win guys. I really will. Okay guys. I'll test how she performs as a little barbecue. Some onions in there.
I'm going to split them off for a second. I then need to have a couple of minutes to put the lid on. So I'll pop my face in Now what I'll do, I'll just leave this in contact with the plate. I'll give it uh, enough time so that the blood cools on top, and then I'll flip it over and give it two minutes. Okay guys, so well, the camera can pick it up. The blood's starting to pool on the top here. So we'll see if it's stuck or not. We should have him. So I'll give it a countdown for about two minutes, and I'll take it off the heat. So guys, that's two minutes. Looks the part. That was stuck. That means that was stuck. You're just going to see how this pan cleans up. So I'll turn the gas off. And I've got some cold, some cold water in it. Sit a bit and we'll have a look to see what that steak looks like. Well, guys, for me, that's how I like it. If you wanted a bit more than that, you could go a bit, a bit longer. You know guys, the steak was lovely. <coughs> I've noticed that I've burnt the chrome plating off my handles in a couple of spots. So I've just boiled some water. These handles are still a bit up. And I'll go and tip it out. So it does balance pretty well. So considering I haven't done anything to it apart from boil a bit of soapy water in there, or well, almost boil, it's actually, it's actually pretty good, considering I've burnt onions in there. So I'd say clean up's a goer. Okay guys, time to try some scone bacon. So it's been running on the gas for about five minutes. The lid's at 117. The sides are 160. Hands are tad warm to touch. I'll put a trivet. 216 on the base. So I'll put a the base of a uh, baking tin in there. 215. Now the scone mix wants um, 200 degrees. So that should be a go. So I've made half a packet of scone mix up. I'll pop that straight in there. And get the lid back on. And we'll see it in 20 minutes and we'll have a look see what it looks like. Hopefully it's a success. First time out on this gas stove with this pot. Okay guys, the box for the scone mix says between 12 and 15 minutes. So we've just come up for 12 minutes. So I'll have a sneak peek. I suspect that this oven's not quite 220 degrees, so it's probably going to be closer to 15 than 12. Let us have a look. Oh yeah. Not if it would be a bit naughty to flip it over, so it will brown up both sides. Smells absolutely fabulous, by the way. So I'll give it another. Yeah. I'll give it a couple more minutes, then I'll turn the heat off. So I'd say that's a winner, guys. I really would. 
Okay guys, we've just gone past the 15 minute mark. I turned the gas off two minutes ago. So the lid's still at 119. And sides at 160. Base at 165. So it's actually retaining heat. Better than I thought it would for aluminium. And that feels like it's a winner. It really does. So it's time to get some uh, some jam and some cream out and um, we'll give this fellow a test. Well guys, I call that a success. So in the bottom of the pan, I use the base of a um, spring form tin. I hit this way down so it wasn't sitting directly on the bottom of the stove. Even then it got a little, little dark. It smells lovely by the way. So let's have a look inside. Still warm at the oven. Mm. Yep. Anyway, guys, or well, things I do for you, blokes. Let's have a, a go at this. That is pretty good guys, it really is. Well guys, well, I enjoy this and drink me coffee. If you like the content I create and it helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And I shall see you next time guys.